Yo, what's up guys, Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget, and today we're going to be answering the million dollar question. So have you ever wondered, how in the world can I utilize my own time to get the most money per minute in Lumber Tycoon 2? It has crossed my mind so many times guys, and it happened to me the second I joined Lumber Tycoon. I was literally like, I need to know how to make the most money now. So in light of that, I decided to do a little bit of an experiment in Lumber Tycoon so I could check my hypotenuses and, uh, and make sure I knew what I was kind of doing and making the most money that I could. So before we get going, I just want to say that there are some constants and there are some variables. You guys would not have the same exact time as me, and there's so many different variables in Lumber Tycoon that you just can't account for. A few of these would be like trucks automatically just freaking exploding. There's just so many things in Lumber Tycoon, guys, that you just can't account for, and there are just going to be so, so, so many variables. However, the things that actually stay constant in my experiment are, A, they are all moving through this conveyor system right here and being loaded into the back of my truck. B, I am starting every single experiment from the edge of my plot of land and timing the entire process from gathering supplies to actually turning the wood in for money. C, I'm taking the max load possible for that route. And lastly, D, I'm using the best axe for the job. Before we start this, I would like to mention that I was not going for the fastest time in each experiment. I was going for consistency so I can determine which route would be the best option. Not the fastest. There's a difference. So we've got four popular and main routes of getting money in Lumber Tycoon that is spread amongst the community. The first one is Birchwood. So Birchwood is actually worth quite a bit of money for those who didn't know that. And a lot of people like to just go up there, get as much wood as they can, come down, cash it in, rinse and repeat that step for as long as they can. One thing I learned about Birchwood is the fact that you can carry a ton of it. It is not very big and it's super easy to transport so you could literally load up your truck and trailer as much as you can. However, after the long process of actually chopping it and putting it in your sawmill and then taking it and finally cashing it in, it's not worth as much as people think. It took me about 21 and a half minutes to actually go up, get a full, full, full load of Birchwood, come down, cash it all in, and, uh, and make some money off it. I only got about $6,225 from it. That gives us a money per minute, or what I like to say MPM, of about $290 per minute. So what does that mean? That means for every minute that I was playing Lumber Tycoon trying to get money, I only earned $290 for each one of those minutes. In all honesty, it's not that bad, but there are definitely some better options. Next up, we've got Gathering Goldwood. Now, a lot of you guys are probably like, well, this is definitely the fastest because Goldwood is worth so, so much. Wrong. And I tested it both ways. The first way is actually driving. So if you guys don't know, you can actually drive to go to the swamp and get Goldwood that way. You just have to go get some TNT, knock down a bridge, and drive over there and get it. You might think that, wow, that is awesome and easy. We can load up the truck with a ton of Goldwood and do all this really, really fun stuff. Again, you're wrong. It takes so, 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 so much time to go get your TNT, go up through the route, knock down the bridge, come back, get your place, get, get in your car again, and do all this stuff, not to mention it actually costs money to get there. Now for this experiment, I actually timed it doing two different routes because the first route is significantly longer because you have to actually set up the bridge and the second route, you can just drive across it. However, our MPM will still give us a really accurate number. So it took me about 54 minutes and 16 seconds to actually make two trips. It took forever. However, I did make $21,940 Three. Not bad, right? Like, we got a ton more money than Birchwood. Wrong. After deducting the cost of the bridge and the TNT and respawning your truck and trailer, you're only looking at an MPM of about $387. Better than Birchwood, yes, but is it the most effective way to get money? Now, before we move on, a lot of you are probably thinking, Sean, what about planking over and getting Goldwood by hand? Because that's pretty quick, right? Wrong! I tested that as well, and I started the time from the second you left the base to go get your big pieces of logs, make them into your super, super super long planks, set up your planks, run up and go get your wood and come back. Again, I made two trips to these because the first one obviously takes a lot longer than the second one and it still took me 19 minutes and 30 seconds to do. It yielded a profit of about $5,333, giving us an MPM of about $273. So it's pretty much even with the birch wood. And I'd like to mention that this one is by far the one that awestruck me the most because I thought that that was actually going to be the quickest route possible. Now this brings us to our absolute final test guys which is probably what all of you guys have been expecting is getting lava wood 
Now, once again, I did record two trips doing this because the first time you run up there and you cut a bunch of trees and you chop them and throw them down and then when you make your trip down there, you don't have to go all the way up the volcano again. So it is a little quicker that way. So I did two trips for more accurate results. It took me a little over 30 minutes to make two of these trips and turn them all in for cash money moolah, yielding a profit of $27,351. Whoa! An MPM of nine hundred and ten dollars guys it blows all other methods out of the water the gold wood going both ways and the birch wood didn't even stand a chance at the lava wood now again guys i was using the fire axe when i did this so it did cut back on a lot of time and once again guys this is not the fastest way to make money in lumber tycoon this is just the best way to make money in lumber tycoon again there is a difference guys and i will be uploading a video on the fastest way to get money in lumber tycoon 2 in that video, I will be trying to get the MPM as high as possible. So many other things are going to be taken into account considering a whole new system that I'm kind of working on now and a whole new delivery and pickup system that should make things ridiculously fast. But I am super intrigued into what you guys can come up with. So if you guys have some super awesome designs and you do some math or whatever and you try to get the, the money per minute and how much you're making and all this fun stuff, then tweet me your method, guys. I would love to come check it out. I'd even come and join on your plot and see what you got rocking. I'd love to see see it if you're coming up with a method yourself you might want to watch my most expensive uh wood in lumber tycoon it might help you kind of figure out what wood's worth what and all that good stuff i hope you guys learned something from this i know there are a ton of variables and a lot of you are probably gonna blow up at me in the comments below saying like i could have done that faster or, you suck or i hate you midget but I did my best to give you guys some actual factual information on this instead of just kind of saying this is the best way, I promise you. I'm trying to give you some evidence and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is going to wrap us up though guys. If you enjoyed the video, please, please, please smack a like on it. I spent so, 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 so much time doing this video. But that's going to do it today guys. I ultimately hope you guys just learned something new from this video. Let me know kind of your thoughts in the comment below. And if you haven't already, be fly and subscribe. I'm going to be showing you guys just how much each wood is worth. This is actually the cheapest wood in Lumber Tycoon, guys. This is only worth about $6.5 per unit um, when you turn it into plank.